You go off for your appointment, leaving you all in the midst of food chat. I come back and now we're having science chat. We're such a diverse bunch. Exactly. Uh, trains for me. I go away tomorrow morning. Well, let's say tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, dinner time, I go away. If you're wondering why I wasn't streaming yesterday, it's because I got some admin work done before I went away. Or before I do go away. He was packing his pyjamas. That's it. Packing my onesie. <laughs> <laughs> the, the unicorn ones. Are... Oh God, God help you if you've got one of them. I have, I am not taking it with me. It is staying here. How's the generator? Uh, it still generates 330 volts until I can get the new adapter or capacitor thing. Well, Drew. Ha how is hydrogen cheap to produce? Like, what method are you using to get it? Because the problem with hydrogen is it's like the most abundant atom in the universe, the molecule, because it's H2, but it's also highly reactive, so it tends to be bonded to other things of which you then need to break it out of it. Yeah, electrolysis, but what are you using to power the electrolysis machine? And do you get enough hydrogen back out of that? Because it takes energy to crack the molecules. You're not a fan of drills, you find them boring. But don't. Uh, real magics, no problem, dude. Welcome. A fusion reactor, Baz. Can you imagine when that one goes wrong? Yeah. <laughs> imagine that. Yeah, a fusion reactor in everyone's house, and then the husband turns around and, and, and just goes, I'll just go and tinker with it a little bit, see if we can get a little bit more boom. Oh yeah, that, that that definitely worked. It's like to say though that the amount of energy that the UK produces and is about 98% so we're producing 100% but we're only well we're using about 98% of it whereas other countries they're producing 100% and only using let's say 70 80% if that yeah and it's because we've not got that many nuclear reactors I think we've only got well say nuclear uh, I think we've only got five in the UK four in the UK something like that it's just because there's not that many wind farms either because people vote against it whereas in other countries they're just like yeah we don't care put them up you know green well, energy for the wind i mean we have got some the, the problem with it is you need to finance the things i mean there's yeah. some massive wind farms offshore not yeah. far from where i live Yeah, I read. I was reading. I forgot what it was now. It was something about because it was about. I was watching something about the Chernobyl, uh, not Chernobyl, uh, that Fukushima uh, incident. Yeah. And it was it was on about how the UK is trying to get away from nuclear reactors uh, and things like that, like nuclear energy. Uh, but it was saying at the moment it's currently not feasible because we're only generating two percent extra of what we're actually using. Uh, I'd have to find the video, but it was quite interesting to watch. It's funny that you're doing that bit, but the rest of the field doesn't look done. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. So I'm guessing that most of that, what you've done there, is all done. The UK has 15 operational nuclear reactors. Again, at seven plants. 
Yeah, but there aren't any plans to build more, are there? And they only last, what, 60 years or something? Then you have to be decommissioned. And if you want, if there's like one coming up in 10 years to be decommissioned, if you don't have a plan to replace that with something, then exactly you're going to suddenly lose a lot of power that you then have to buy. I think Man, France has got loads of nuclear power plants. Right. Take them back to the farm for now and then find out what's next. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Mr. Democrat, uh, there are some windmills about 25 miles from where I live in upstate New York. We get none of their power. It all goes to New York City. Yeah, but when you look at how much power New York City's using! It just cut me off. Oh no, I'm on the left leg. Look at this. I'm not cutting Almost. you off. Almost. That tractor's definitely quicker than this, though. Is it? <laughs> I'm going 27 mile an hour. That's maximum speed. That's definitely slower. Yeah. Sounds nice, though. It's got a good, uh, good little hum to it. This old John Deere. Wait, Baz, what are we talking about fusion now? I thought we were just talking about standard nuclear power plants. Not fusion. Even, even then, fusion is quite dangerous as well. Oh, I should have filled this up for a brick bag. That's true. Oh my god, speedy guns are it. Mine's 96% full, so. Mine's not. You said they should invent a new uh, a fusion reactor. I didn't. I wasn't responding to that comment, Ben. Motley's busy. As always. Same with Sommy. I bet Sommy's having his kebab. <laughs> oh, yeah. No doubt about it. It's weird how those trailers don't work with our tractors. Mm. Motley's having the time out. What's he doing? I don't know if you can see it from where you are, but if you look at my front wheel, when I accelerate, it spins a hell of a lot faster than the back wheel. If you watch, watch the front wheel. See how it looks like it spins a hell of a lot faster? Yeah. Not in reverse, but in forward. I still don't know what we're doing next, I've just asked him, but nothing. Sammy says, I haven't actually had a Thursday night kebab for 10 plus weeks. Kind of hard to prove well, that though, wasn't it? Last week he was at a wedding, so we can kind of let him off that one. So for all we know, it's only been two weeks. Let's go, we have a... We, we can have wind or solar panels here, but we have to feed, sell it back to the power company. They buy it at a higher price than they give it to. Yeah, yo, that's, um, that's always made me laugh.
It's, a, it's the main reason I didn't get solar panels, is because you're generating electricity oh, all through yeah, the day yeah. when you're probably not using it. You then sell it to the grid, they buy it off you for like three or four pence a kilowatt hour. And then when you need it in the evening, when you put all your lights on and you put your kettle on and everything like that, they sell it back to you for 15. And I'm like, why would I do oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why would I give you what? Like the only feasible way I'm ever going to get solar power is when I can store it myself and then benefit from it. I'm not selling it to a company to sell it back to me three, uh, twice, three times the price. Lord Reaper, good thing I live in a country. Uh, only thing have to worry about is power cuts, lol. The bad driver nuclear fission is the one most commonly, is the one used most commonly at the moment, has nasty examples like Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, Wind Scale. However, most nuclear fusion reactors are based in the Russian Tokamak spelling questionable and it's 99.9% .9 safe unlike fission they're basically superheat gases until they form a plasma like the sun does using fancy magnets and other fancy tech beyond my comprehension <laughs> right two harvesters field three Why is this pipe sticking out at a weird angle? Yeah, mine's doing the same, so I'm just unfolding it, and then, there we go. If you unfold the top, wait until it's all unfolded, press O, and then press O again, and it'll bring it back in. It's just so weird. Out. It is weird. There you go. Fixed. Exactly, MP, and that's why I think Dyson will do well with their power wall, because people will buy solar power if they can store it and use it themselves. That makes a lot of sense, because you're now not having to buy power from the grid. Uh, who's that? Demon Temps! <coughs> Thank you for subbing, Demon Temps. Welcome to the house. We give Demon a lovely nutty welcome, guys. Sorry's last, last Thursday kebab was 6th of July. Yeah, but you could have phoned them up. Did you see the way that uh, it just filtered out Mutley's scumbag comments as well? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Unbelievable, this game. Why? This, why? It's like kindergarten. It's worse than kindergarten. Is this the field we're doing? Uh, we're doing field three, which is the one behind. So the one behind you. Run the perimeter then. Hi. Jules, how is the pig I sent Doyle? Jules, I was actually going to message you on Discord and basically tell you that Doyle is still enjoying that pig. I mean, he's missing a leg, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but it was only two days ago I saw him in there and uh, he was wandering around. Next thing he just gets the pig out, tail wagging, starts uh, throwing it around the room for a half an hour. Yeah, he still enjoys it. Well, Steve, you've got two new farmers to the stream, so be gentle. Okay. Pickel and... What's one? I don't know who the other one is. I think it's Teddy, possibly. No, Doyle's not missing a leg. The pig is missing a leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doyle's missing... No. I said once it should be managed that all new builds are fitted with solar panels and a power wall. Um, I, I think it should be at some... I probably will be at some point, Impy. 
I mean, I don't know I what you'd do with a block of flats. I guess they'd have to, because, you know, the amount of, the amount of units in there and the size of a panel they could put on, it wouldn't be sufficient. I think, I don't think it'll ever become mandatory. I think once it becomes more cheaper and more, um, not sustainable, but, you know, when batteries become more widely available and more capacity, then I think it will become more well known that you know people will start using renewable energy or self-contained. Uh, Adam, two thousand nine. Thank you for the resume. Pickle has four thousand hours of farms in fifteen. Bit of a noob then. Might just be new to our farm. Plus, I mean, what do you do if you build? If you're a developer and you're building a a plot of houses, some of those houses are going to have a really good aspect with the sun to build panels, and some of them are not. So, what do you do then? Test fusion right to the building in France is supposed to be 110 megawatts of power to keep going, but is aimed to produce around 500. Four thousand dollars farms seventeen now to be honest I only bought it last week. Uh-huh. Buy the power off your sun facing neighbours. Intensive gamer, why don't you do some college work while watching? Have you ever tried doing that though? You get distracted and you start watching the stream while they're doing work. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it might do MP. It might actually influence the um, the direction they face houses. It's possible. Uh, Democrat 22, yes. I can guarantee it. Do I have three? I've been scammed. Oh. I hear food being ordered possibly. It's not for me. Oh. What is this for my takeaway, yeah? <laughs> what? Where are you going? What? You got McDonald's? No, I don't want to go. It's alright. Yeah. McDonald's? Mm. My daughter, she wanted three pounds chicken McDonald's. She oh. gave it me back in the morning, so she said. Yeah, but what can she get for three pounds at McDonald's? Like she? Oh no, no, no! It's easy because she has the same thing every time she goes. She has a plain double cheeseburger with fries. And that's it. Yeah, a plain double cheeseburger, which is basically uh, two burgers and like nothing else on it. I'm not even joking. All the good stuff on. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly there. It doesn't have anything on it. They should get you a Tommy Tuckers. <laughs> I yeah. agree. I agree. It'll be closing now. Dad tax. Yeah, she did say, do you want me to wait until you finish and then we can go together? And I'm like, no, no, no. I don't fancy McDonald's, to be honest. Well, I don't fancy McDonald's, but I could definitely eat something right now. I could eat something, just not a McDonald's. Oh, I agree, MP. I absolutely agree. I mean, because electric cars are, you know, going to be a mainstay thing in 20 years' time, we have to generate power. We have to. So it has to be that solar power's got to come down. We've either got to generate it or start saving some power. We've got to store it as well. Yeah. You've got to generate it and store it. I 
I know there's no so, KFC in Chelmsford really, friends. It's uh, but what the only they, KFC is like right across the other side of Chelmsford. They uh, they close at eleven as well. And real magics. I have not ordered anything. I've not ordered any food. But he will be. Uh, I don't know. Depends on the other half. Delivery. <laughs> Swap over. Uh, Lob hat. No worries, dude. Have a good night. You're gonna have a kebab, Dave. Just go back. One day, Dave, I'm going to treat you to Tommy Tucker's. And you shall know. Down, uh, I might be coming down London next month or the month after for a secret event that I can't talk about. Um, oh, so I might have, yeah, yeah. I might the one that you've talked about on your stream. Huh? <laughs> the one that you've talked about on your stream, that secret event. Well, kind of, but there is another one in the work right. that I can't actually talk about. But yeah, the one about the master. We have to let us know when you come in. Yeah. Meet up for a coffee or something. Coffee and kebab? Oh, yes. A coffee and kebab? Oh, I don't. You had your kebab before or after your coffee? To be honest, I wouldn't have coffee with a kebab. Where's name? Jackson? Go, go, go. <laughs> Why did the government start charging you tax for power you, you made with your own solar? Um, difficult to see how they could um, actually enforce that, Dr. D. I was just about to say you might want to put your pipe in because there's a tree coming up. Yeah. Are you able to pull an empty into your own trailer? Isn't the arm long enough? Yeah, it is. Right. Uh, Might as well start down the other end. It's a nice straight line. So which way are we facing? Uh, southwest. So if we, I'll probably just go this way. Or something. Well, if we go all the way, if we do another run down this length. And then get to the end, we can then set up GPS because it's a nice straight line. Okay. Good night, Dutch Republic. Have a two week vacation. Nice. Jules, you've finished my. just finished my last piece of New York cheesecake. Dude! You only bought that on Tuesday? Oh my god. The problem is with things like cheesecake though, when they're sat in the fridge and you know that they are, it's very hard not to think about them. Not only that, you think about it and you think, if I don't eat it, it's going to go off. So yeah. I need to eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'll go past its best. That's it. Oh, well, here we go. Synchro's incoming. Let's get the music ready. Favourite kebab. Um, I really like those kind of minty ones, like the ones on sticks. They're like doner meat on a little, ch like oh, a, I know what you mean. a wooden stick, and you, you can put oh, them like in different... Skewers. Yeah, like skewers, and you put them in different... I love those. Time for a drink. Fair enough. Just debating whether or not to eat this last Bakewell tart that I've got in front of me. Last one, how many have you had while you've been sat there? I've had one earlier, about 20 minutes after the stream started, and nobody noticed. Pringle, you little piggy, I have a Black Forest Ghetto at Christmas all to myself. Wow. You little piggy. I can just imagine him sat there going, it's mine, it's, it's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Don't sat there. Can I just have a little bit? No, it's mine. <laughs> Drinking Spezzy, uh, train summer. Uh, listen very carefully. If you eat that cheesecake before I get <laughs> there, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I want some of that cheesecake. I've been looking forward to that since Saturday last week. <laughs> Wow. 
Right, well, we bought it, but never ate it. So, you know, oh, I just said, yeah, well, put yeah, it back yeah. in the freezer or fridge. And, you know. Sounds good. Impy, that sounds nice. Jules, I've got lemon swirl cheesecake in the fridge waiting for me tomorrow and Saturday. Wow. Dude, you like your desserts, don't you? <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> good night, uh, Granger Contractors. Indeed, good night, sir. One brought home a uh, big lemon tart from work. It was so good. I, I like that. I like lemon tarts. You used to get them in like two layers, and you get lemon ones with strawberry ones or raspberry. Yeah. I had them in ages. I used to put two to get like turn one upside down, put them both together, and eat it like a sandwich. <laughs> so you'd have strawberry and lemon. Oh, was it Monday? I thought it was Saturday that we bought it. To be honest, one of my college work isn't until Monday, but I have uh, five due next week. Oh, rip. Your dad's an expert on making shish kebab. Remind me to pot round. This is a long sink. This is one and a half elevator song so far. And the elevator wow. song is That's almost like two minutes. <laughs> like that's a unit of measurement. It is. It's a one and a half of the elevator music. It's a, well, you can tell roughly how long the sink is just from how many times this loops. Wow, are we gonna actually go for two full loops of this? Probably. We need the MP. There you go. That's two full cycles through the song. Now we're on the third. Which means. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is almost four minutes. Crispy cream trucker. Got chocolate fudge cake and squirty cream. Oh, squirty cream. Probably like squirty cream. Squirty you just cream. do it straight in your mouth, can't you? <laughs> it's brilliant. I was going to say, are you, are you exactly like me where you just get the squirty cream and go... Yep. And just Who doesn't do that? Go, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Who doesn't do that? Again, at least I'm not the only one. <laughs> Hey, Kelly. Oh, this is insane, man. Oh, my God. This is a long one. This is almost like a Sky commercial break. There we go. There we Finally. Go. We've Jeez. improved the synchronization oh, of yeah, yeah. 70. Yeah, no, you haven't. Stop lying to us. Daddy Ward, Daddy, 500 bits of money for doggy treats. Thank you very much, Daddy. Joy will be thankful. I don't know about you, but I need empty and zoom on at 67. 41 at the moment. Which is pretty weird. Oh, because I got emptied down the uh, stock. Yeah. just tweeted out an image of the uh, said big well tart <laughs> the thing is the cherry on top actually looks like a love heart I don't really have one Billy Is it your dollop pale? Uh, well, I am English. Apart from that, it's probably just a white balance problem with the camera.
Uh, gaming bro, hello, I, I got a new cat. What? You're gonna set up GPS on the street. Yeah. Um. You got a new cat and his name is Marley. That reminds me of, um. It reminds me of the Muppets Christmas Carol, where they sing a song, because wasn't the accountant's name Marley or something? There you go, copy that. And they sing a song in Muppet Christmas Carol where it goes, it's Marley and Marley. <laughs> like this when the ghosts turn up. Uh, Frona Marie, thank you for 15 months. Next faction is next year. Nah. Uh, Sam and Cowell doesn't appreciate true talent like me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Muppet Christmas Carol, Marley, Marley. M -m -m <laughs> He's just pulled up at the side of me. <laughs> he did. Today your wife sings. She has a voice that makes you want to clap your hands and stamp your feet all over her face. <laughs> oh, Pringle. I was just about to say, was that Pringle's lead? Nah, I didn't miss a bit, Billy. That was a GPS error. That wasn't my fault. I was just following the line. The question is, will the headers bash? Uh, possibly. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's close. Oh, that is close. <laughs> I did turn away slightly just to maybe help. Eighty-four percent fill the trailer in one go. Yeah, they should be really probably taking oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, they won't have enough space. Jules, Simon Cowell doesn't know any talent. He thinks he knows talent, but he doesn't. You tell him, Jules. Paul, of Saturday, it will be two months until Christmas. Wait, what? As of Saturday? It was the 28th now. Christmas is on the 25th. So that's three months away three days ago, so why will this weekend be two months? That doesn't make any sense. It's going to be still almost three months. Not in Denmark, it's the 24th. It doesn't make any difference, SK. It's not going to suddenly be two months away this weekend, is it?
And it's not just Denmark either, SK. You wish it was almost two months, why? I guess to get it over and done with. <laughs> I want to get winter over and done with and wish about <laughs> Christmas. Oh, why did it work that time, but not this time? That's really weird. Does Santa not come to Germany, Baz? I don't think it has, Intensive Gamer. I don't think this year's gone that fast. Oh, I think it has. People always say that, but... If not, if you think if you think back, just for, for the start, bring up your photos on your phone and scroll back through the weeks and months and see what you've done to remind yourself. You yeah, just kind of forget what you've done. You've, like, you do so much and then don't think about it. Are you going to come to any PAX events in the US in 2018? I don't go to PAX. I've never been to one. Um, there is an event in 2018, or maybe an event in 2018, the... Um, flight sim show but I don't know if I'm going to go but I don't I don't think there's anything at PAX for me to be honest PAX doesn't really cover sim games we've got Santa the Bavarians just have another name for it Santa's an American thing wait what I don't think so bad I'll leave in a gap. Well, I might as well, otherwise I'll end up bashing every time. True. Good night, Joshua. See you, Joshua. I've never been to a gaming event, so any gaming event will suit my need. Yeah, but when you're talking about me flying over to the States, which costs a lot of money, I'm not going to go to something that's a complete waste of time for me. I'm not saying PAX is, I'm just saying they don't do sim games, so I'm not really sure what's there for me. <laughs> You'd love to go to a German Christmas market one year, Mr. Sturman. Yeah, Prague is very nice as well. That's a Prague at Christmas. See you later, Milton. game do you want that comes out in 2018? Uh, <laughs> maybe Identity if it's going to come out in 2018? I am actually looking forward to that one. I'm, I'm kind of not. How come? Because I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> True. I'd rather it just not come out for three years and then come out and be just amazing than come out next year and just be, oh, not another failed project. Hmm. Saying that though, they've been working on it for quite some time already, so... Does it mean anything? They've been working yeah. on, um... What's his face, haven't they? Um... The space one. What's it called? You know, the £150 million pound space oh, game. No idea. No idea. Can't think of it. You already got to Gamescom with Jaffo. It's, it's pretty busy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Star Citizen, that's it. I don't even know when Star Citizen's gonna be officially released. Do they have any idea what complete looks like? <laughs> I 
It's going dark. It is. Do you know, look, I looked up the sunset time today. Chelmsford sunset, 1840. Yeah, it's getting closer and closer to like four o'clock. Yeah, in a few weeks time, they'll push the uh, clocks back. Yeah. And it will be dark at five o'clock. You know, what's going on? I want yeah. summer back. <laughs> I remember a couple of, about a month back, it was still light at this time. Yeah, it really was. 3.0 is coming next month. 3.0? Is that officially released, that game, then? He's on the end of South Empire the other day, and the sunset over the water is beautiful. I know Pringle, I know about the whole Thargoid thing in Elite Dangerous. It's just too much of a time investment. Like, if you play Elite Dangerous, it's very hard to do other things because you, you need to put so much time into it. It's the same with Destiny. Although, I would like to get back into Elite Dangerous. Well, you better find some time first. <laughs> yeah. Not yet, there's a lot more you can do. It just seems weird to call it a game version 3.0 when it's not actually been a 1.0 release. Because, like, 1.0 is traditionally your first full feature complete release. So, how have you managed to get to 3 without releasing all the features? Just seems odd. Oh, God. I am almost full. That's a good call. Five, 81. Let's a bug out of here. Well, that's one way of doing it. Oh, you're 99.8% full. Yep, exactly. You stream World of Subways. <laughs> Which one? The good one? The buggy one? The rubbish one? <laughs> or the eh one? Things just filled them up to 43%. Nice. There's full size planets in a star system coming to Star Citizen 3. If you're lucky, Star Citizen isn't out and probably still takes ages. Because that one will indeed kill my life, Baz. Yeah, you're big into your Star Citizen, aren't you, Baz? You would like to see London Underground in Train Sim? Oh, you mean like Train Sim World? Yeah, but it doesn't make any difference for this one, does it? Well, no. EVE was good for underground routes. I remember seeing a... I remember seeing a... Um, an underground sim made by some... Czech or Polish or Russian. 
was ages ago, like over a year ago. I don't know how progressed they are with that. You're not on about TML, are you? I'm not sure. I can't remember the name of it. It was like highly realistic looking though. Because I know there's the world of subways, but then I'm sure TML did one as well. Or was world of subways. Is it Metro or whatever? No, it's not that. It was a, it was a Facebook page. I remember it. No, a trains not. God, I said highly realistic. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> End Barclay. Thank you for the resume. No, it looked sort of like Unreal Engine type detail and the lighting under the tunnels looked incredible and they were showing you models of the carriages and all the cogs on the wheels and the detail they were going into was ridiculous. Is anybody, if there is any more development for Euro Coach Sim, guess is as good as mine. Which lane do you want to do here? The inside uh, one? If you want to do the inside one, yeah. Who knows what SCS is planning these days? Yeah, Chippy, I wish I could remember the name of it. I'm pretty certain I emailed the developer like over a year ago and said, let me know when it's playable. But if I can't remember the name of it, it's going to be tricky. You think you're a coach them is dead, Yoshi, why? SCS adds bus stations to their France DLC, so there must be something. Well, it'd be interesting to see if they add it in their Italy DLC. Uh, you lying here watching while you're nursing a dislocated shoulder, Dodgy Dave. Ouch, dude. That doesn't sound very uh, comfortable. <laughs> Good night, Eagle Fist. keep missing bitch jewels. Look around you, dude. Do you see anything that's missing here? Jules, are we nearly there yet, Kappa? at home already, Tasmania. Oh, my life. Bus stations were added with VLF first in Scandinavia also. Well, you didn't answer me about that, so I had to put one of these in. Because I couldn't find them. Are they in the house, is it? Is it on left? It just buckles. Rip. That's the last can. Oh my god. Baz? Baz? He's running out. This is my last can, Baz? Put it in the fridge. I'll have to pick a day to save her that. Send you to Germany to buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, you'll. you'll yeah. You do that for me. Okay. You'll fly over to Germany at my expense and do that for me. Yeah. Aww. Thank you. You're so sweet. So thoughtful. <laughs> She'd also want some spending money so that she can spend while she's there.
No, they tend not to play sim games, Daddy of War, Danny. Last can of Spezzy. I've got to go through the bottles before I finish that can. <laughs> that can's got to go last. What if the bottles taste better than the cans? Well, they don't. That's the point. Oh, have you already tried a bottle? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the cans taste better. Fair enough. The problem is I thought I had more than I did because I put the bottles in the bag as well as the cans. So it was misleading. I thought I had loads of cans left, but I didn't. Fair enough. No. Already tried it, SK. It lasted longer than you thought. Well, that's the thing, Baz, is I, I deliberately didn't drink it on non-streaming days. It's been savouring the flavour. One can left, I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> There's no food. Addiction is a terrible thing. I'm not addicted, dude. I just like it. This is difference. How can I be addicted if I can if I can go days without drinking one? Uh, you can order it on Amazon, but it's ridiculously expensive in the UK. It's actually cheaper to fly over the Ryanair. Not oh no, not Ryanair. Probably so, is. <laughs> if you can find a flight with Ryanair, it would be cheaper <laughs> to fly over there and uh, buy some and bring it back. Saying that though, you could possibly go with EasyJet because they're the next cheapest one, aren't they? No, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have a go mix of my own. It's like X3 save. So. Because why not? Well, yeah. What have you got to lose, really? Exactly. Apart from no spezzy. I'll have a look for some recipes and see what I can find. Is it 50-50 though, tequila? Because it seems to me if you put half a glass of juice and half a glass of coke, you won't have as much fizz as in that can. So I'm wondering if they then add more CO2 to it. Time to get your PPL rent assessment and come over here. <laughs> hey, that's the thing. Once you've got your PPL, you'll be able to. Like, fancy a spezzy today. Off to Germany. Yeah, except it's going to cost quite a bit of money to hire a plane for that long. Probably just more think, than it would cost to fly over on EasyJet. Yeah, but just think of how much spezzy you can fit in that Cessna. True, but for... Fill the back seat up, fill the luggage compartment up, the co-pilot seat, fill it up. <laughs> and then just be unable to take off due to yeah. too much spezzy. <laughs> yeah, maximum take off weight reach. Whoops! <laughs> Yeah, I'll bring my own Spezzy brand out called S Squizzy. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Squizzy, the refreshing drink <laughs> every time. If it's been mixed right, terms and conditions apply. <laughs> With just a hint of nut. <laughs> yeah, and a hint of, uh, yeah. You'd have to get someone that's really fast speaking and say, Turn to conditions apply, see label for more details. Oh, yeah, I've seen those adverts where they do that. <laughs> yeah. Where the guy reads it at the end reads so it at fast. Lightning speeds. And I just turn around and go, Nope. Yeah, no, Baz, I know. But, like, renting a Cessna is going to be, well, 172, you're probably looking at £160 an hour or something. Don't know how long it'll take to fly over there. Maybe it's the experience as well. A couple see. of hours, maybe. Yeah, you can post that a link. Actually, you'll have to ask permission first, Chip or not, Chip Arnold. 
Does SCS intend to map out the entire North America for the ATS or just the US? I have no idea. Okay, I think both of our trailers are bugged out because they're full. Don't even know what state they plan on doing after New Mexico, so <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. When you do your first solo fly to Germany. I don't think that would be my first solo to kill her. I think his first solo will be flying locally. Are you kidding me? So you got a little bit left. No, no, it's not. Hang on, come back. I'm sorry, I've told it. It's not a little bit. I have literally one unit of canola. There it goes. It was on one, zero percent, but it had one next to it. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's good job I've got a whisper button set so that you can't hear it, but they can. Well, I, I've got a whisper button set, haven't I? Yeah, you have. But I've got one that will whisper just to them, so you can't hear it. But yeah. then I've got another one that will do both. Is this what you saw going on? Let me have a look. Um, browser chat, come on. Rip. Uh, let's see, sub transit. Yeah, that, that, looks, that could be it, yeah. That looks really detailed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that is it, actually. Because I recognise that picture of the console. Like that. Expect a full proper trailer game soon. And that was in March. <laughs> what? Release date 2017. Just no info on it at all. Yeah, it was that one. Greenlight is being retired. For more information on how to submit games to Steam, refer to this blog. What? Steam Direct launches on June the 13th. Yeah, that's the one, but it says it's releasing this year, but I don't think it will. 